right, so here we are, Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I would think as an athlete, these type of mad MMA crowds are something you absolutely oh. oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite set in the realm of MMA, and he's as good as he gets. has got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Back to the feet now. Wachowicz gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Right hand on point. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Glover to share. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands now, the one that's on the field is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfect. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Fighters back to their feet here. Big, powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Yeah, he's hurt real bad. Probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react real quick. Well, he can take... Massive, massive little slams, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by Teixeira. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, what a land there by the former world title challenger, Glover Teixeira, one of the more prolific knockout artists in this 205-pound division, and really says he gets all the training he needs at his own gym there in Danbury, Connecticut. Oh! He got him. Oh! He was hurt. Look at the redness there. 
he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in, now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Nicely done. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and... Well, you gotta start clearing those hooks right away, or he's gonna start to try to attack the rear choke. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, Hovich's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? Here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson two. Oh, just takes him to the bottom. He has shot every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. To share is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. So 92 total strikes have now landed for Glover to share. Pretty good connection rate as well, landing with 50. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Teixeira gets back up again. All right, clinch situation now. Going for the hip toss. Nearly had it, but not able to bring him down. Very, very... Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very well. perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 14 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Lover Teixeira. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and 
Candidly knocking another man out, Colton. Yeah, I'm counting me out. I'm pumping my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing.